People have been begging for this, and no, I'm not talking about any changes being made into Danny's World today. Something that Danny's World players love, that I know you guys love, is something known as but what exactly is an alternative universe? The abbreviation is AU, but an alternative universe is a setting that differs from the original fictional universe in a work of fan fiction, or a separate world that coexists with their universe in science fiction and fantasy. So basically, what does that mean? People take stuff from Danny's world and basically change it into their own unique universe. For those of you that see my video on Danny's Wasteland, that's exactly what this is, which we'll see more about later. But I have an epic voiceover alternative Danny's World universe that you guys have been asking me to watch for a long time. As you can see right here, we have watched the first episode, but we're going to go ahead and watch it again and we'll sit down and watch all these episodes together. But first, I'm going to need everyone watching this video to unsubscribe. Yeah. The way things stand right now, if I get 75,000 subscribers by the time this year ends, it looks like I'll have to do a Danny's World baking themed cake. It looks like I'm to bake a Danny's World themed cake for a video or a stream. I can't bake. Please. I don't even know how I would do that. I might have to call up my school and be like, hey, can I make a cake here? Either way, let's jump into the video. And shout out to at Danny Droll underscore Sisson Bro for making this epic series. Let's get into it. Danny's World, The Infection, Episode it 1. It was a normal day like any other in Danny's World. All tunes were... The, uh, the music's so ominous, man. Sweet and kind to each other in every way. Dandy, the leader, always worked in his office. He never told anyone what he was working on. But one day he started acting weird. You know, this all makes so much more sense now. And I think this series might lead to why so many people think Dandy is so inherently evil. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut my app. Let's keep watching. <laughs> my practice day's almost done. Soon everyone in Dandy's world will fear me. I'll take them all over. Now, for my first victim, Shrimpo, he was- Shrimpo is, dude, he's always the victim. Not really, he's a freaking bully. A big, mean bully. A good fella. Hey, Shrimpo, wanna talk? Why are you talking to me? I like you. That's oh, well, that's too bad. I need you to come with me. Uh, fine. So after that, Dandy worked and worked on his new creation. Even extracting some of Shrimpo's DNA was along the way. Now, my little- he extracted Shrimpo's DNA along the way? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I might be missing what exactly is going on right now. He, okay, he fully just turned Shrimpo into a Twisted right there. Okay, I think that is literally what just happened. What? Creation. You're gonna go, Philip. This is moving fast. This alternative universe is moving really fast. Every one of those machines infecting everyone as you do it. And then... Whoa, he's affecting everyone? Then I will take over the world. And maybe I'll let you help. The whole world? Now go off. Dandy watched as Trump fulfilled each and every one of mach the machines. <sighs> Unaccurate lore, that would actually be Astro sleeping. <sighs> oh, that's sick. He was looking at himself in the mirror. Well, another day. Might as well go wake everyone up. I really don't want to. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. V was the first one to be awake. Glisten! Glisten, wake up. I know you- Is it Glisten? Oh my gosh, I might have been pronouncing Glisten wrong this entire time. You need your beauty rest, but rise and shine, little buddy. I'll go wake up, Sprout. You go wake up the other- I do not think Glisten would appreciate being called <laughs> little buddy. <sighs> I'm gonna go let Pebble out the cage. Hey, Pebble. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't we watch an animation yesterday of Sprout and Shelly losing Pebble? <laughs> it's, kind of, it's just kind of ironic how Sprout is letting Pebble out the cage. You know what? Hey. Come on, we gotta go wake everyone up. Sorry. I'm already awake. I should go wake up Shrimpo. Hey, buddy. Shrimpo. It's Shrimpo. Shrimpo, what's wrong with you? Shrimpo. Shrimpo. Oh okay. no! That, Whoa! That was a blood, that was a blood curdling scream. Hey, hey, well done. What was that noise? It sounded like boxing screaming, and it was coming from Shrimpo's room. Come on, Glisten, let's go check. Okay. Boxton, Shrimpo, you guys okay? What? That's so weird. They're not here, but I heard them. Oh no! What's that on the wall? Wait a minute. Is that? It's Ikor. Don't go anywhere near it, guys. Why not? Why? 
Let me explain. Long ago before we were here, our ancestors found the same thing on walls. But when they tried to clean it, they became what known as a twisted. Okay, so in this universe, that's how toons turn into twisted, is from cleaning ichor off the walls, which makes sense. When you get exposed to too much ichor, you're gonna turn twisted. Twisted are not good. Not good at all. They would attack fellow toons, but they couldn't help it. And the funny thing was, if you were a main character like some of us are today, you would turn into someone bigger, badder, scarier than the normal twisteds. I, I believe they're talking about main twisteds. It was terrifying. And one day, my ancestor was getting chased in. What happened was, well, she got turned into a twisted too. Nobody ever saw her again after that. Hey guys, I was just waiting for you. Uh, V, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Shelly. I'm just a little bit scared after all these twisteds and it randomly happening. It's a I feel like they're doing pretty good considering all the twisted breakouts. Okay, V, I can assure you if we all work together, we'll all be safe in the end. Thanks, Shelly. We should really go find Dandy and tell him about this. Of course. I'm pretty sure he's in the warehouse room. Follow me, guys. Okay, we're here. Shelly, you said you're the only one who knows where his office is. And where is it? It's over here to the right. Follow me, guys. They're about to find some stuff that they do not want to see. Okay, we're here. Dandy, are you here? Help me. Hello? <sighs> guys, is that you? It's me, Boxton. I don't have much time. Dandy is trying to abstract every single tune so he can take over the world for himself. You that, I mean, that is a crazy claim, though. Like, that is what Dandy's mold, like, goal is. Inside of this alternative universe, Dandy really is just a massive and obscene villain. We're talking worse than prison time bad. His goal is literally just to take over the world. Is that not just, like, the most pure evil thing ever? Don't get it messed up. This is not lore accurate. This is AU. You guys should get out of here. I don't feel good. Earlier, he injected me with some ichor. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, too. Oh, my gosh, guys. Danny's oh my so gosh, evil. V, what was that? That was terrifying. He said Danny was behind this. Boxed and turned evil. Oh my gosh, what about the others? We have to get out of here and warn them now. I know, Shelly. I know. That was so weird. I'm going to hack into all electronics and warn everybody on TV. I'll be right back. Please stay safe. I'm 200 IQ play from V there. I'm going to go now. I love this show. But it's the last episode. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, V. I was just coming on here to warn everybody that Dandy is behind all of this tune crazy madness. He's infecting all tunes so he can take over the world. Please stay safe. Hide if you need to. V out. Oh no. Hide if you need to. Yeah, that's just such a bad way to live, you know? It's easy to be like, just hide. That just pushes the problem along. You know, I think at some point they're gonna have to, you know, have a conflict with Dandy. We better go warn all our friends. We're gonna get caught. No, we won't, Dazzle. Hurry, we have to go now. All right, and the last time we watched, there was an episode two, but today there is. I'm bought into the series. Let's go ahead and check out episode two. Dandy watches from Nobody ever saw her again after that. <laughs> this intro is sick. <laughs> Hurry, we have to go now. And finally, Danny's World System Bro presents Danny's World The Infection. <gasps> guys, episode guys, two. I'm back. I warned everyone and I hacked all the electronics. Are you guys okay? Yes, I'm fine. Yep, we're all good. Sprout, what are you doing here? Guys, I'm pretty sure that I heard Dandy laughing. Well, we better hurry then. This is our chance to catch him. Come on, let's go, guys. Guys, did you hear- Where would Sprout be that he heard Dandy laughing? Is this after he turned Boxen into a Twisted or at least hit him with the Ike? Hear the news? Everybody's dying. No, they're not, Dazzle. Yes, I did see. It was on the computer, too. Yeah, I just saw it. Toodles just showed me. <laughs> was that Roger's voice? <laughs> hey, Brightney, did you hear the news? Oh my goodness, no. I was doing my makeup. What happened? Bright. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Did that. Did Brightney say she was doing her makeup? You know, not, not trying to depict everything here. I just don't understand what, what, what kind of makeup a lamp would, would be doing. 
But at the same time, how many different universes or how many talking lamps do I know that go to Garden View? Uh, I think, you know what? I'm going to shut up. Dandy's infecting all these tunes. Everyone's dying. So Dandy's evil. Oh, hi, Roger. Wait, where's Toodles? Hee <laughs> I stuck into the warehouse room and nobody's here to tell me what to do. Now, let's go explore why the time lasts. You can't let the child run off on the road. Roger, you're being a bad role model here. Theoretically, if you are in this AU, we don't actually know. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, it's an equal machine. Wait, Roger told me not to touch it. Eh, what the oh. heck? Oh, come Wait, on! What's going on? Someone help me. Aw, oh, no. It took T minus 15 seconds, roughly five seconds of extracting Iker for Toodles to get yoinked. Where are you? Toodles, oh, that was where are you? Scary, We're bro. all worried sick for you. Toodles? There you are. <laughs> mm, I, I was not ready for the scary element. I was taking a sip of my drink. And then I just hear, All right, let's find out if Toodles gets Brandy. What's going to happen after that? Oh, stop. Toodles, help. Everyone help. Good help. strafe, Brandy. She's Good strafe. Oh, no. Oh, Brandy's cooked. Brandy's cooked. Oh, yeah, they're cooked. Oh, no. That couldn't have been good. <laughs> Guys. Oh, wait. She made it out alive. Guys, help. Help me! I was just attacked! Oh no, Brightney, it's okay. We'll go to the first aid. Good thing you're not infected yet. Come on, hurry before it spreads! Don't worry, Brightney. We'll get that wound cleaned up in no time. You're holding back really good. It's okay. I will make sure you don't turn into a twist. <gasps> Thanks, V. I don't know what I'd do without you. No problem, Brightney. You're one of my friends. I would never let that happen to you. Hey, Brightney, I know you just almost got killed, but me and Shelly still have to go to look for Dandy so we can end this madness. Are you okay with staying by yourself? Yes, I'll be totally okay, guys. You guys go save the world. Bye. Come on. You guys go save the world, which is not an exaggeration at all. They actually are going to save the world. Come on then, Shelly. Let's go beat Dandy at his own game. Okay, I'll follow you. <laughs> Roger. That was creepy. Okay, that was really weird. Can we, can we see that one more time? How did they do that? Oh, th that's the most rape play part of the video. Wait. Okay, look I'll at this. follow you. <laughs> that's creepy, man. That's really creepy. Roger, are you quite all right? I heard you crying for the first time. Are you well? <laughs> Go away, this Miss Toodles. <laughs> this is going to be exciting forever. Oh, Roger, I do miss her dearly, too, so why don't we find something fun for you to do? Why don't we go read history books that are over 150 years old? You'd love to do that. Come now. What an oddly specific thing to say. I couldn't imagine going to cheer someone up and being like, hey, let's go read books that are twice her age. No, not that are 10, 20, several years older than us. We will go to the library and search for some. Come on now, Roger. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Tegan. Okay, Shelly. Dandy should be around here somewhere. Let's go find him, shall we? I'll follow you. Okay, Shelly. We should start looking... What is that? <gasps> Dandy! I should have known. Oh, just you wait. You're not getting away this time. Come on, Shelly. Just you wait, Dandy. You won't be getting away this time. <laughs> Those fools. Luckily, I have a smoke bomb. Oh. Yo, dude, Danny's like Batman. Not, okay, well, not actually, but like, oh, yeah, they're actually like the complete opposite of Batman, huh? Uh, okay, sorry. Shelly, what's all the smoke? And it's making me feel kind of dizzy. Shelly, what's happening? Shelly? Shelly? Oh, uh, no. Shelly? Oh, my head. Ow. <gasps> Dandy, you! Untie us now! <laughs> no, 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 my dear. I can't untie you. Is Dandy gonna get literally everyone? Dude, you'll be one of my creations. You guys are the strongest yet. Perfect for me. No, I won't let you do yeah. anything to us, especially Shelly. Don't hurt both her. Main or else. Uh, uh, let us go. You won't get away with this, Dandy. No, you really don't get it, do you? I already have gotten away with this. Excuse me while I go prepare our surgery. Dandy that's cold. Dandy, you're not gonna get away with this. Oh, well, you know what? Sigma face engage. I already did. It. Shelly, I'm so sorry. I led us in that direction. It's all my fault. No, it's not your fault, V. It's okay. We can just, um... Someone help us! Oh! 
I was in ready. For hey guys, it's V here again. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys. You're welcome. Hopefully I can send over some more. And the good news is, is we do have episode three to watch as well. So let's go ahead and check out third episode of this five episode series. Hate seeing ads? Here's- Yes. <laughs> I stuck into the warehouse room and nobody's here to tell me what to do. <laughs> Candy, I should have known. Oh, just you wait. You're not getting away this time. Shelly, what's happening? Yeah, so we left off. Shelly and V are, are pretty cooked. They're pretty cooked. Come on, someone help us. Oh, Shelly, I'm so sorry. I'm the one who got us into this mess. No, V, it's not your fault. I can really assure you that. <sighs> Thanks, Shelly. At least we're here together. Okay, Roger. Do you see any books that you would like? No, I don't see any so far. Wait, what's that noise? Someone help us. Please help us. That'll definitely get your mind off your, uh, you know, your little kiddo being turned into a Iker monster uh sorry sorry roger help us please is that v and shelly come on roger we have to go save them i think they're in danger oh let's face it shelly we're not i like how it's just canon to most people that tegan is just british i don't think this has been said or sp like spoken into existence literally anywhere it's just been accepted never gonna get out of here yes we will v never say never we will get out of here i guess you're kind of right Wait, Tegan, Roger, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that. What are you lads doing down here? And why are you in Dandy's office? Did he capture you? Why are you chained to the wall? Tegan, Roger, I'm so glad you're here to save us. Please, untie us. And yes, Dandy did capture us. He put a smoke bun thing on us, put us to sleep and chained us. Please get us out of here. Okay, we'll help you out of there. Hold on, don't move so I can get it off. Okay, now we need to wait. What's that? Whoa, dude. You guys have some good animations. Like, that was, not, that was, hey. hey. Good job, guys. <clears throat> I've hidden away a secret cure in case of emergencies if I get infected by my minions. Written this down in case I forget the secret passcode to the cure is hidden behind my desk. From Dandius. His desk is over here, guys. The Dandius of Dancifer. Now, let's get that passcode. All right. The code is 4STR0. The tunnel is... Are we, are we surprised? I think this might be a coding game. If not, is it not a little bit interesting how Dandy made his code to the cure Astro? Not only that, but we haven't seen Astro at all yet. Probably because he's just been sleeping. But Dandy hasn't bothered to mess with Astro. Interesting. Looks like... Wait. Astro? What does the code have to do with Astro? Guys, yep. something's weird going on. I don't like it. I feel like Astro has something to do with this, and maybe he's helping Dandy. V, let's please not jump to conclusions. Maybe he just chose him randomly. Jumping to conclusions? What do you mean? I'm putting the pieces together. Well, maybe instead of putting the pieces together, we should worry about our safety and our friends. Yeah, that's a dicey situation, wouldn't you say? Like, let's not jump to any conclusions here, but at the same time, it's like... I'm putting the pieces together. I get both sides here. Shelly, we have to end this first to make sure we're all safe. You're not getting the point, V. Ever since you started jumping to conclusions, all we've done is get in trouble. Brightney almost died. We got captured and almost got hurt. I don't know why I even bother trying to argue with you, Shelly. You're just a waste of space, and you're always dragging me down. <gasps> Shelly, I really didn't mean that. But you did. Every word of it. <gasps> Rip shell vision. Shelly, wait, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. I thought we were best friends. Shelly, I'm sorry. Shelly? Huh? <clears throat> um, V, are you quite all right? That argument was bad. Yes, I'm fine, Tegan. But I was so harsh to her. I didn't even mean any of that. I understand. That is kind of what happens when people get emotional. You know, whenever you get emotional, you kind of just say things you don't mean to get a reaction. And V did. Now she feels bad. Notice how I said she? I said it right, boys! And V, but you need to control your anger. Even when I get overwhelmed, I'm not even that harsh. But I understand you. And I understand Shelly. We need to go find Astro so we can unlock the cure. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Hey, Astro. Yes, V? What do you need? We're so close to finding the cure so we can heal our friends, and we need your face ID for some reason. Okay, sure. I can do that. Okay, literally- 
Oh, wait, they need his face ID. That's crazy. And I just realized they just ran into Astro and brother was not sleeping. So what has he been doing? Thank you so much, Astro, but we should really get going. Okay, now follow me. Okay, Astro, here we are. Now I need you to go up to it. I, I'm just convinced bad things are going to happen, dude. And put your face to it. All right. Come on now. Don't be shy, Astro. Nice. It's open. Okay, Astro, let's go now. Here it is. The cure. Let's grab it. Nice. We finally have it. Good job, Shelly. Shelly? I'm not Shelly. Oh, yeah. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Bro, just got egoed. Thanks, Shelly. I am definitely not Shelly. V just wishes it was Shelly so bad. Oh, man. Okay, Astro. They should be. <laughs> Astro? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> we meet again, V. Oh, no. I just knew Danny was going to come out of nowhere, man. V? Attack her, Shelly. What? What are you talking about? Shelly would never. <laughs> Whoa! Here again. What the... Dandy, what did you do this time? Where's Astro? Oh, Astro's already long extracted. Same with your friends. You see, I didn't think I was gonna be actually be able to pull this off. But you, V, you added the cherry on top. It was all you. So I deeply down thank you for this. Wait, how? Wait, what did V do to help? But then again, I don't think keeping you how you are is good enough. I'm still gonna have you one to my minions. My plan is almost perfect. It's just you, V. It's just you. I hope you understand that Shelly is on my side. So, be still while I inject you. Tell her why you're on my side, Shelly. Well, I don't want to be on someone's side who calls me a waste of space. It Ooh. See, Shelly's not even infected. That's why Dandy's thinking V. Shelly switched up because of what V said to her. Dang. Exactly. She's on my side. Now, come on, Shelly. Let's go get the syringe and turn her into one of our mates. I think Shelly's either going to switch sides, like, again on Dandy, or she's playing a game and realize that she can get closer to Dandy. <sighs> I'm coming, Dandy. Bye, V. Nice knowing you. I can't believe this. All my friends are gone. My best friend turned against me. And now I'm about to become what I fear. Alrighty, V. I have the syringe, so here comes just a little pinch. Well... I guess that's it for me. How hard do you think it would be to put a syringe inside of a robot? Just a genuine question. Wait, no. No, no. Danny. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that she was going to switch up. I knew she couldn't let it happen. Stop. Ow. Look what you've done, you idiot shell. You made me syringe myself. Now, where's oh, the cure? Oh, no. Happened? That means we're going to see Twisted Dandy in the next episode. No. You forgot one thing, Dandy. I have the syringe, and you don't. Have fun being a twisted. Come on, Shelly. We have to. <laughs> have fun being a twisted. Wow, that, okay. Get out of here. Thanks for saving my skin back there, Shelly. We almost got caught, but Dandy should be turning into a twisted any day now, and that's not really good. What should we do? I don't know, but I'm terribly sorry, V. I don't know what was going through my mind. Since that argument, i just been feeling low, and he said he'd help me. It's okay, but we should be careful. They're all abstracted. To be continued. And with that being said, we are going to save the last two episodes for the future if you guys enjoy this experience. I just want to save the alternative universes because I enjoy looking forward to them and saving them for the next day. So that being said, make sure you guys unsubscribe. Tell me if you guys want to see this again, and I'll see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye!